Hey everyone, welcome to my super pro retouching tutorial. The reason I made this tutorial is simple. Everyone always asks, surely there must be an easier way to retouch. And the answer is yes. You don't have to spend those hours perfecting, retouching. You don't have to look at all those tutorials. Because why isn't there a way to retouch skin in five minutes? With all of today's technology, surely there has to be a way. And the answer is yes, and I'm going to show you. But don't tell anybody. It'll be between us. Just kidding. Tell anybody you want. This will be amazing. And you'll never have to look at another tutorial again for skin retouching. So get ready. Now, we're going to start, obviously, with our image. And this image was provided by my friend Chris Lambeth, who is an amazing photographer and retoucher. And if you look at any of his work, my techniques here today will illustrate how he gets his results. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the background layer. Command-J and Control-J if you use PC. And the goal will be to even out skin and make it look luminous and beautiful while still keeping her soul and integrity. Because we don't want to take that away from anybody. That's right. Okay, so enough of that lesson. We'll go to Filter, Other, and High Pass. And we'll select a radius that reflects just her skin and nothing else. So this, not um, all the way to Miss Glowing Angel. And not all the way down till we see nothing, but somewhere in between. How about 3.6? I think that's good. It highlights every one of her pores and her really good um, facial lines, which I think every person loves. Now we're going to decimate that. Because if we go to soft light, what happens is it highlights and emphasizes texture. So if we hit Command I or Control I, it inverts it. And the opposite effect happens. How magical is that? Okay, so we don't apply it to everything. Just her skin. So we're going to add a folder. And drag that into a folder. And mask just the folder itself. So nothing else is selected. We'll invert the folder. And now we're going to take our brush. And just mask in the skin. You don't have to be perfect, it doesn't matter, nobody cares. Even your clients, nobody cares. Okay, excellent. Except maybe the eyelashes, they care. They want to be kept in the picture. Very good. Happy eyebrows, happy eyelashes. Happy life. Or something like that. And maybe the neck. But everything else doesn't matter. Who cares? Don't you just love this tutorial so far? Good. Now we're talking. Now we're getting closer to the results the pros get. I like this. Okay, the next step going forward is we're going to make a merge visible stamp of everything we've done so far. Meaning that if you hit Command, Option, Shift, E, or Shift, Control, Alt, E on your, on your PC, you get a stamp of everything you've done so far. Which makes this wonderful because we can take it to the next step. Because we're not amateurs, we're professionals. So we'll go to Filter, Noise, and Dust and Scratches. Now the good thing is, you don't even know, you don't even need to know anything. All you need to know is how to adjust sliders and how to look at the image itself. So clearly, if we use the radius, about 19 and 4 we're getting somewhere so hit okay now the difference between the amateurs and the professionals is we need to leave areas of contrast visible so that nobody knows what we've done there we go on the edges of the nose the eyes the eyebrows see Nobody's gonna tell. Shh, keep that between us. Okay, there we go. I love this. Bob Ross would be so happy. Oh, Bob. Richard just thrilled out what you're looking at if you could see this. Alright, there we go. Clearly, when you look at it from far away, it's starting to come together. 
all that texture that would have taken forever to even out is gone. Well, I should say it's lessened. Because it's still there. You know she's a human. No one's going to tell the wiser. Perfect. Now, here is where it all starts coming together. When I look from far away, the thing that really gives it away more than anything else is the fact that there's still some blotchiness on the skin and we won't even let out. She may be still when you look at her, but she is happy on the inside from the work that we've bestowed upon her face. So, we're going to take a, another layer, a blank layer. We're going to take a regular paintbrush. Change our flow down to like four or five. Or if you're feeling risky, to six. And we'll start painting by sampling with Option or Alt. And just paint over those transitions. Don't worry about the uh, apparent lack of texture. We're going to bring it back later with some magic. With some Photoshop filter magic. This is the stuff that the professionals don't ever want you to know. In fact, they're looking at this, seething with anger that we're just giving away all these secrets. But you'll be, you'll be the one laughing when you apply these beautiful techniques to your photographs. There we go. Now we're talking. Even the mannequins would be jealous. Except, we're going to bring the texture back. So we're even better than mannequins. For mannequins with texture. Now let's also go ahead and even out some of this lip because there's some texture here. That's not very, um, how shall I say? Beautiful. Now we can take our mask. Here's a professional tip. Click on the mask, take the paintbrush, make sure it's white, and then paint back. There you go. You're welcome. Let's keep a little bit of that texture. Bring our flow down a bit. Start painting over just a bit so we see some of that realism that nobody knows. Voila. Now guess what the next step is. No, it's not portrait professional because we are professionals. We're not amateurs. We're going to bring back the texture. So do another merge visible stamp. Go to filter. Noise and add noise. Now the goal is to zoom out and get an idea of how much noise to bring back to make it look like it's actually the same as the texture on the face. And about 8.12 is perfectly fine. Now here we go. When we zoom out you can clearly see that no one's going to tell how beautiful and perfect it is. Well, I should say, they'll be able to tell how beautiful and perfect it is, but they'll never be able to tell how it was done. It looks flawless. In five minutes, you're able to get such amazing skin. But there's one more step we have to do. We want to sharpen everything. So let's go to filter, sharpen, and unsharp mask. And here, we're going to sharpen it because sharpening is professional. When you look at any professional photograph, you'll notice how sharp and in focus it is. There we go. We have really outdone ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. We are the super professional retouchers now. Pat yourself on the back. You can almost see her soul, soul start to sing. And there you have it. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Because now you know how the professionals retouch their images. So you can take these techniques and apply it to your photographs. And you'll be on your way to success.